The National Prosecuting Authority in the Free State on Tuesday confirmed that a warrant of arrest had been issued for ANC Secretary General Ace Mahashule. This is a significant development in a years-long investigation into a 255 million rand tender awarded by the Free State Department of Human Settlements in 2014 to two Johannesburg-based companies, Blackhead Consulting, owned by Edwin Sodi, and Diamond Hill Trading, owned by the now late Ignatius Mpambani. Mahashule's full role in the scandal is yet to be unearthed, but valuable clues lie in the work of investigative journalist Peter Louis Mayberg, who wrote a book about Mahashule titled Gangster State. In his book, Mayberg unearthed details of payments allegedly for Mahashule's benefit from Mpambani. Mahashule, who spoke to reporters while out campaigning for the ANC in a Soweto by-election on Tuesday afternoon, maintained his innocence. He said he knew this was coming and that he wasn't worried. He would be consulting with his lawyers, he said, but maintained that he was a law-abiding citizen. Mahashule is expected to make his first appearance in the Bloemfontein Magistrates Court on Friday, November the 13th, where he will understand for the first time what the charges are against him. Following his first appearance in court this week, it is expected that the case against Mahashule will be joined with an ongoing case against seven others who have previously been arrested in connection with this contract. That includes Mr. Edwin Sodi, the director of Blackhead Consulting, as well as Mr. Tim Mukesi, the former head of department for the Free State Department of Human Settlements. Mahashule's arrest is significant for several reasons. He is the current ANC Secretary General, which means that he is in charge of the party's day-to-day -day affairs. Mahashule is also the most senior political figure in South Africa to be criminally charged since corruption charges were brought against former President Jacob Zuma more than a decade ago. But his arrest will also be a key test of the independence of the National Prosecuting Authority, who for years under former President Zuma suffered under political meddling and interference and was hollowed out by state capture. Mahashule's arrest is also potentially a major boost for accountability and governance in South Africa, where the citizens have suffered under poor service delivery, corruption and maladministration for years. At the bottom of the pile of this corruption story are thousands of Free State families who live in low-income housing provided to them by government and who have for years potentially breathed in harmful dust particles from asbestos roofing.